The title is The Holy Spirit Will Teach You All Things. The Bible says, I am telling you these things now while I am still with you. But when the Father sends the advocates as my representative, that is the Holy Spirit, will teach you everything and will remind you of everything I have told you. So the Spirit of God, the Bible says, it, will, it is called Elba. The Bible says from King James, these things I have spoken to you, while I pined with you, but the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I said to you. So the, the Holy Spirit will teach you, is your helper. The Spirit of God is your helper. Is your comfort. Jesus was telling his disciples while he was still with him, with them. He told them, yes, he told them that I'm telling you these things while I'm with you. So when I go, you will not be alone. You will be with him and I will tell you everything to bring you to remembrance. Everything Jesus was teaching his disciples. He told, his, he, he told them, the Holy Spirit, him, will bring everything to remembrance. He will teach you and he will help you. So without the help of the Spirit, the whole of the Holy Spirit, the, without the help of the Holy Spirit, we cannot do anything. That's why we rely on the whole Spirit of God. When we talk, you have to confirm. Many people, they are deceived. They don't confirm. They don't check things with the Holy Spirit. That's why you need to cry to God to give you the Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Spirit. Now, nowadays, not nowadays, even now, the Spirit of God says there is a lot of false prophets, a lot of uh, false teachers. So when you have the Holy Spirit in you, it will show you, it will detect, it will confirm something is not right. That's why we need the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will teach you and tell you something, that these things is not right. But when you don't rely on the Spirit, you rely, you rely on you, on nature, then you, are, you will be blind completely. That's why you need, this is what the Bible says. The Bible says, these things I have spoken to you while abiding with you. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, the Father will send the Spirit in the name of Jesus. He will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I said to you. It will teach you, it will bring you to remembrance everything. So, so that you will not be deceived. Everything happening in heaven, the Holy Spirit will bring you to, to, down and tell you this is what is happening. That's why we ask Jesus, we ask the Holy Spirit to guide us, to show us the way, to confirm. Hallelujah, praise be the name of Jesus. If you look at, the, uh, and let's look at the book of Luke, Luke 24 verse 49, the Bible says, I am going to send you what my father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with the power from on above. So Jesus told them, the promise that the Father promised you, don't leave anywhere, don't go anywhere. Stay until you get this power. He promised them, he would, he would, he would send them the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost came from heaven. So when they received the Holy Ghost, they were empowered. They were clothed with the power of high. The power of the high authority. That's what Peter was able to bridge within two days. One day, 3,000 got saved. Second day, 5,000 got saved. So two days, almost 8,000 people got saved because he was, uh, was, was empowered by the high authority, by the power from above. 
So, and they did miss Jesus. Because Jesus promised them that I'm going to send you the helper. is coming. The helper who will teach them everything that they want to know. That, and you, you know, when Bida, when apostles, when apostles wanted to give to the ministry, they sit together and said, okay, let's go and give to the ministry. Let us go and give. Because we see our people, poor people, we want to, to give. Then they decided to go home and get their, their offering. When they brought their offering, some of them, they hid their offering. They didn't give a full amount. Peter told them, you are not deceiving me. You are deceiving the whole spirit. You know, if you deceive the, the whole spirit, it's dead sentences. You are dead. You don't have to choke with the Holy Spirit because you cannot pray with his holy and it will kill you because it doesn't choke. If you look at the Bible, what happened with those people? They died because they lied to the Holy Spirit. So Peter was full of Holy Spirit, was full of power. So he was running with the, the Holy Spirit, what the Holy Spirit says. And when he asked people, let's, let's do the work of God. And they were together. The disciples of Jesus were together. They were doing things together. They were eating together. They were ministering together. And they didn't lack anything. Nobody lacked anything. They were all wealthy. And they were doing the work of God. And they were shaking the, 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 the world like this. That's, that's why even Peter was put in prison. And what he was told not to share, not to speak the word of God. Because Peter was filled with the power from above. Now, the Bible says, uh, verse, verse, uh, John 2, verse 22. The Bible says, John 2, verse 22. The Bible says, And I myself did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, the man on whom you see the Spirit come down and remind in the, in, in the one who would baptize with the Holy Spirit. So John also he didn't know Jesus, but the moment he baptized Jesus, the Holy Spirit came from heaven and landed to him. And now John the Baptist was telling Jesus, was telling the people that this man, he's the one who would baptize you with, with fire and with the Holy Spirit, not me. Me, I don't have spirit. I'm also expecting that spirit to come upon me. But the spirit of the living God, it is a spirit that teaches. It is a spirit that confirms things. When you listen to the spirit of God, it, it doesn't have mistakes. The spirit of God is true. And you know, the spirit of God, God uses the spirit to go and, and fight. If the spirit of God send a place, that is a dead sentences. I was studying about the Spirit of God and I was shocked how this Spirit of God worked. There's a man called Hab, King Hab, the husband of Jezebel. So God was talking with the Spirit and he was asking, whom can I send to kill Hab? Because God has to use something. God, God is where it, you cannot understand it, the way of God, the way God do, do things. Unless you go to the Bible and pray very hard, it's when God can be filled to use some his stuff. God is a mysterious God. He went and asked the Spirit, who is going to kill Ab? The Spirit said, send me. And then the Spirit went. And Ab was killed. It's a, it's a wrong story. When we study that one, I will, I will show you how it how, or you can go to the Bible and check how, how I died. Now, the Spirit of God is holy and is very aggressive. If you talk with the Spirit of the Lord, it will not forgive you. It will kill you. That's what even Jesus said. Don't pray. You can for, forgive him, but once you, prim, uh, you, 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 you abuse the Holy Spirit or prominence, what, how do you call it? You cannot be forgiven. <laughs> yes, the mysterious of God we must seek in <laughs> <That's> <laughs> plasmel, plasmel, yes, plasmel. If you plasmel the Holy Spirit, you cannot be forgiven. You can do anything, anything, but not plasmel the Holy Spirit. 
you cannot be forgiven. That Jesus told them, I, the spirits you are getting, don't play games with them. Because if you blackmail, you black your plus mail, there is no forgiveness in that. That's only where Jesus said you, there is no forgiveness in that. And it's true. I know a lady in Africa where I come from. She was very, very aggressive evangelist. She she could cast out demon. Demon people were healed and she cast out demon. Now one day she was deceived and she ended up in bed with a man. That was her hand of, of our ministry. Now this man whom she went to bed with, she was a witch, a wizard. And then she took everything from her. The woman did not allow the, the Holy Spirit to tell her what kind of that, why she was doing what that, what she was doing. You know that woman died. The devil did not give give her a chance to repent. She was after that she ran mad. The following day, one week dead because she plasmed the Holy Spirit. It's the same thing. What happened to 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 to, to, uh, to Saul when Saul went to that witch, the witch woman, to to seek to, to to look for help. And Saul was a king and a prophet of God, so he died because he went and he he plasmed the Holy Spirit. So the Spirit of God is there to help us. The Holy Spirit is so good to guide us and teach us. But when you, you abuse it, when you don't use it properly, it will go. Because it's holy. It doesn't mix with, with, with the people who worship idols. It doesn't mix with liars and thieves and criminals. That's why Jesus was saying in the same John, the book of John, that I, I, the, before me there was thieves and robbers. Jesus was calling people like that. Now he said, he told his disciples, as, as I'm here, you will not be alone. You will not, I'm not going to leave you as an oven. Let's look at the book of John, John 14. John 14, verse 18. John 14, verse 18. Jesus said, No, I will not abandon you as an oven. I will come to you. Yes, Jesus told his disciples, I'm not going to abandon you like as an oven. I will send to you a help, a comfort, who will stay with you. That's what the Bible says. Jesus said, you will not be an oven. The helper, the comfort, the Holy Spirit will be with you. But the moment you start misusing the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will start fighting you. He's our teacher. He teaches us. If you obey, you, you will succeed. If you don't obey the Holy Spirit, then it will be a double destruction problem will rise up. The Bible says, when an enemy rises up a standard, when an enemy comes like a flood, the Holy Spirit will rise up a standard to fight him. So the Holy Spirit is there to help us, to teach us and protect us. Because it will tell you, don't go there. <laughs> One time, the Holy Spirit told me, don't go to the place where I was going. <laughs> I was going to see a lady, and this lady, the Holy Spirit told me, because I, I told the lady that I'm coming, so, and she was ready for me, but the Spirit of the Lord told me, don't go. So I was guilty, I said, how am I going to tell this lady that I'm not coming? I, I resisted. When I went there, I regret I kneeled down with my knees to say, my God, forgive me. I wish I could obey. I could obey what you, you told me. So, when you disobey the, the Holy Spirit, you will suffer consequences. The Holy Spirit wants it, wants it will protect you. Who is that calling me? Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is so good because he wants you. He tells you, don't go there, there's danger. But when you resist, you will find it in trouble. Then you start crying to God. That the Holy Spirit will tell you, but I told you, you repel. Yeah? The Holy Spirit is good. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to stop here. We'll continue. I want the number that I've given to you, I want you people, my friends, to call and we will share.
we need to share this about the Holy Spirit so that you don't be deceived, you don't, you don't enter into problem. It's holy. If you live the way the Spirit of, of God wants you to live, you will be happy. You will be happy. Thank you very much. This is your host, Leverent Prophetess Christine Isigi saying bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Maybe I'm coming back. I'm coming back to, 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 to continue all tomorrow morning, wherever time. But I have to attend the people at the door. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.